The ADX2 is a flip front or modular style adventure helmet and it's actually the first Scorpion helmet that I've ever reviewed. Let's start with the tech specs. This ECE 2206 certified helmet has a thermoplastic or thermo resin shell as Scorpion call it. It does however only have two shell sizes across the entire size range from extra small to extra extra large. Thermoplastic shells are generally cheaper to produce, which often gives you much better value for money. The only drawback is they tend to be heavier, and this helmet in a size large, weighed in at 1,924 grams, which is a little heavier than the 1,800 plus or minus 50 grams that it suggests on the shell itself. This Camino pearl white, blue and red graphic is really nice looking, but you will pay a 40 pound premium for this over the plane helmet. Having said that, at 249.99, I think this represents pretty good value. The main visor has a tab on both sides to allow for easy opening with either hand, and the drop down internal shield has a control on the lower part of the shell. It's nice and easy to operate and find with gloved hands, and I've got no complaints with it at all. The shield has a decent level of darkness and it sits low enough to give complete coverage. When I first used it, I did think there was some kind of protective film over it, uh, but it turns out all it needed was a wipe down, so that's something to bear in mind. Raising the chin bar is, again, very easy, and I like the way the button is hidden underneath the chin, which gives the helmet a very clean look. The helmet has P and J double homologation, and as such, under the 2206 rules, it does require a locking function, which can be found on the left-hand side. Again, very easy to operate. The inner lining features Scorpion's Quick Wick 3 material, and it is a very comfortable place. It feels very plush, feels pretty premium. In terms of fit, I would say this is an intermediate oval with maybe just a very slightly rounder brow section, but in general, I think it should fit a lot of people quite nicely. The chin strap is a quick release micro metric strap, which seems to be par for the course for modular helmets, but very easy to do up and undo. This peak is removable, but it hasn't got a quick release. You do need to unscrew it using the fastenings on the side, but it's nice to see that these can be done by hand or there's a slot for a coin. There's no need to have a tool to undo those and the clips themselves are fully metal, not plastic. So that does mean that changing the visor and or the peak are still really quick and easy. There's no awkward clips or anything like that. Uh, and there's quite a range of different tints and finishes on the shields too. If you want to wear the helmet without the peak, there are hinge covers in the box and it also comes with a pin lock anti-fog insert in the box too. The helmet also features Scorpion's quick fit cheek pads, which allow room for glasses, and there are speaker cutouts for comms units. If you prefer an integrated system, the helmet is prepped ready for the Scorpion Exocom Bluetooth communications unit. Battery level high. So that's pretty much it for the specs, but how does it perform? Let's start with the comfort, and despite its weight, it is a comfortable helmet to wear for long periods of time. The Quick Wick 3 material that I mentioned earlier wicks sweat away very well, and it does feel pretty premium inside. Ventilation is good with a double section on the chin bar. The lower part is switchable with vent holes either side, and the upper part with the metal grill allows air to feed up behind the visor to keep it clear, and I have to say it works perfectly. Enough airflow to do the job without creating annoying drafts or cold spots in winter. This is backed up with a switchable vent on the top, and an always open venturi on the back. The ventilation isn't stunning, but it does do the job pretty well. Overall vision is good, and there's plenty of room in the chin bar too, the lifting of which is very easy, even when riding. I can't do a helmet review without talking about noise, and obviously this is a very subjective topic. It very much depends on how well the helmet fits you, what bike you're riding, and a couple of other factors but generally thermoplastic helmets do tend to be a little bit quieter than some other materials just from the nature of their construction. And I found that to be the case with this. It is a pretty quiet helmet. I had no more wind noise than I would expect, and there was no grabbing or catching or vibration from the peak, even on shoulder checks. So what do I think of my first Scorpion helmet experience? Well, I was pretty impressed. It's comfortable, 
quiet and has a host of good features. It looks and feels pretty premium and I get the impression it's going to be relatively robust too. The only drawbacks for me are the weight of the helmet and maybe that drop down visor could have a little bit more clarity. But when you consider that this helmet in plain colors is 209 pounds and 249 pounds for graphics and it comes with a five year warranty. I think it's definitely a helmet worth looking at if you're after this particular style. So if you do have any questions about the helmet, let me know in the comment section down below. And all that leaves me to say is until next time, thanks for watching, take care, ride safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.